First tonight, a man from Barry County is suspected to be the first human case of eastern equine encephalitis in Michigan this year. Fox 17's Aaron Parsegian spoke with his wife, who's warning others about just how serious the virus is. I saw things I, I never want to see again. Really didn't think he was going to make it through that first night. He was moaning and um, completely out of it, just so sick. Tina Westcott spoke with Fox 17 outside Mary Freebed Tuesday night, where her husband Jeff is now recovering from triple E, a diagnosis they never could have imagined. That's never going to happen to us. Well, it did, and it hit home. Jeff's results came back after a spinal tap last week. Tina says over a few days, Jeff got sicker and sicker. She initially called 911 because she thought he was having a stroke. The signs to watch for is exactly what I saw, the lethargic, the um, not making sense, almost stroke-like symptoms. Within days, he went into a coma. You take a strong man, you know, this 58-year-old man, and within a, a week's time span, just completely wiped off his feet. Uh, weak, struggling to talk, struggling to walk. Now, weeks later, Jeff is alert and on the road to recovery. He's starting all over again, but he is, he is very, very strong-willed, and I have every confidence he's going to make a 100% recovery from this. Though Tina is hoping his story is one that hits home with others around West Michigan, as the state begins countywide spraying to kill mosquitoes in an effort to prevent the spread of the virus. Right now, I'm told is is about the time last year when things were getting bad, and um, there were 10 cases last year, six of which were fatal. So my husband beat the odds, right? <laughs> so he's, he's doing good. Um, but yeah, those are odds I don't want to take in Hastings. You know, the spraying that they're doing is necessary right now to protect all of us. So that's the message I would like to get out. And that was our Aaron Parsegian reporting. State health officials are now running their own test to confirm Jeff's diagnosis. If that comes back positive, he would be the first confirmed case of Tripoli e in Michigan in a human. As for the aerial spraying, it's happening in 10 different counties this week, many of them in our area, including Kent, Barrie, Ionia, and Montcalm. We do have more information about that at fox17online.com.